Well, we've seen what the power of an earthquake can do. This was last year in Alaska. It ripped apart roads and shook buildings. Now a new report says there are thousands of buildings at risk of crumbling here in Washington if an earthquake ever does hit. Our Hawk Hammer working for you tonight with more on the latest report. Hawk. Yeah, so that report was actually requested by the state legislature from the Department of Commerce. The buildings identified in the report were done so because of what they were made of and when they were made. That's what makes them susceptible to crumbling. Uh, important to note, this study did not take into account any reinforcements or constructions that owners of these buildings have done on their own. Uh, another thing to take consideration of, their study, uh, the report noted that Washington State is the second most at risk risk state earthquake wise in the entire country. Downtown Spokane has them in abundance. Historic buildings, buildings with lots of character, many iconic to our skyline. Many though on the new Department of Commerce list of buildings that could and would likely crumble if a big earthquake hit. 384 altogether, likely built with unreinforced masonry. Local emergency experts say this new study is a good step in understanding that risk. But they don't want the alarm blown too loudly here in Spokane. Most earthquakes are on the west side. But even still, there are a lot of unknowns about when or where earthquakes might hit here on the eastern half. We really don't know. We, we, we have some study that's been done. It's very limited because they do a lot of study on the west side where they know there's going to be a major earthquake in the next 50 years, um, within the next 50 years. And here, we just don't know what the risk is. Small ones do happen quite frequently. The last one the USGS tracked in our area was just last week in Deer Park. And after an earthquake swarm in 2001, a new fault was discovered running across division. So what to do if one hits? You should drop, cover, and hold on. So get under something sturdy, hang on, and wait for the, the shaking to stop. And hope that you aren't in a URM building, he says. But knowing which ones are and aren't, as this report now does, should help things down the line. The hope is, is that in the, in the future, based on this report, that we shall get some grant funding, and then we can make that available for business owners and, and other entities to actually reinforce those buildings and make them a little earth, more earthquake safe.